I'm the talk of the town. I know you're feeling it now. Come hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Welcome to Talk of the Town, the Mount Airy Business and Leadership Interview Series. I'm Donna Marie Needle, Realtor with Northrop Realty. And I'm also the sponsor of Talk of the Town, where the goal is to spotlight our small businesses and awesome leaders and to encourage our residents to shop local, buy local, and eat local. Today, we have a very special guest. I'd like to introduce my very dear friend and now famous author, Elizabeth Suit. I have known Beth, as she is referred to by her close friends, for well over a decade. So it did not surprise me when the last time we had coffee, she shared that she had written her first novel, Stella's Diner. Welcome, Elizabeth, to Talk of the Town. I am so honored to have you here today to share your story about your journey as an author and also a little insight into Stella's Diner. Thank you for having me. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay. If you would, please share with the audience your background, your love of books, and when was the pivotal moment you knew you would become an author one day? Well, uh, let's see, my background is I was always a reader. I've been in the publishing world um, of independent authors for over 10 years. I've been around creative writers, editing for them, and I worked for a boutique publishing company and did submissions and really enjoyed the um, creative space. And uh, I don't know when I would say like there was a pivotal moment that I wanted to be a writer, but I did have a story that I wanted to get out and being around such creative people made me wanna put pen to paper and finally get out a story that had been working in my head for a long time. Got it. So Beth, please tell us about your own writing process and what the experience was like writing your first book. Well, my process is, I wouldn't say I'm a pantser. Uh, I had an idea for a story. I did several um, writing conferences. I've taken writing classes, editing classes. And so I think of like the big, scenes and then try to fill everything in in the middle uh I for writing my first book it took about five years total time just because it was a story that was important to me and I went back and forth with you know would it be a single story would it be a duet would it be a trilogy did I want to reveal certain things um you know or not and so that I had to decide whether it be a standalone or uh, several, several books. And, um, so that's what took a lot of time and just getting, letting life get in the way. So hopefully the next ones will come out a lot faster. <laughs> so what was the inspiration behind Stella's Diner and the creation of the main character? The book is a fictional version of my family. We had a lot of family members pass away well before I was even born. I only knew one set of grandparents growing up. And uh, the hardest loss was my aunt um, that uh, was very involved in my life. And that is marked by the opening scene. There's a prologue in Stella's Diner that kind of goes through that. And one day I was... Um, listening to the radio and Tom's diner by Suzanne Vega came on and it kind of gave me the diner idea. And my great aunt Stella was a baker. And so I just kind of put, you know, the bakery, well, it's a diner, but she's her baked goods are she's known for, and the food is just fantastic at this place, just like it was growing up. And that's kind of how I pulled it all together and, created Stella's Diner. And then Lucy's very, very loosely based on me, but the parts of, I didn't know what I wanted to do in college. I didn't know what I wanted to do after college. So finding my home here in the writing space has been a joy. And, you know, the part of, you know, kind of being so anxious that, you know, you're, when everything is working around you, um, 
you're kind of anxious that it's going to fall apart and you want to keep those good things going. So, you know, anxiety can come in different forms. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people think, oh, her life is perfect. And she has all this support around her, but that can make you anxious too, because you want to keep all those people that are around you happy. So there was a little bit of all that kind of mixed together that brought Stella's into existence. Got it. So um, if you would, please share just a little teaser to the overall main idea of the story. Well, the overall main idea of the story is that you have to have faith. And there is a scene where they are standing outside of a hospital and they're waiting to hear what is going on with the person who um, has had an accident and uh, they, the main character Jack is talking to a police officer that was on the scene and the police officer is asking him how he, how the patient is and, and Jack's very upset. And uh, he says, um, it's, never easy losing someone you love but they'll pull through and he's like how, you know how you know how do you know this and all that and he said you know you just have to have faith and so when the police officer leaves he's like goodbye officer i never got your last name and he's like faith officer peter faith and then you know jack the main character is like of course i have to have faith so I would say having faith is a big part of Stella's dying. That's wonderful. And so finally, will there be a sequel for Stella's Diner or any other books in your future? Stella's Diner is going to stand on its own. As I said before, I didn't know whether it would be a duet or a trilogy. A lot of people would like more of Stella's Diner, but I feel like, and I call it its own little nugget because it's special and it's a special story. And I think if you get it, you get it and you'll really enjoy it. So I don't feel like I could do it justice to give more books to that in regards to Stella's Diner without it either being the, the exact same thing or not giving enough of what magic was there in the first place. I do plan to write other books. I have a chick lit book outlined I have one that's a little darker that was planning to be my next book and it is a meant to be love friends to lovers romance book about a navy doctor who helps a homeless girl who was left for dead in an alleyway so much more different <laughs> than <Definitely. Stella's laughs> diner and the lightheartedness of Stella's diner um but uh definitely you know so I like to play with that darkness and light and that even when you have this darkness in your life there will always become some lightness whether it's through friends or someone helping you out um, that you get back so I like to play with that in my writing well great we look forward to um, seeing all kinds of writing from you then you. Um, and so if you would please share any details about where our audience can purchase Stella's Diner and follow you on social? Okay. I have a website, which is elizabethsuit.net. Uh, all of Stella, Stella's Diner is available in paperback, hardcover, and ebook on Amazon. I am, my ebook is exclusive to Amazon and is in Kindle Unlimited. So if you have the Kindle Unlimited program, Stella's Diner would be free to you. I'm also on Instagram at elizabeth.suit and um, Facebook. I have author Elizabeth Suit as well. Okay. You can and find I, all my links on my website. Awesome. Okay. And I'm going to cut this part out because I'm going to go grab your book. Hold on. I wanted to have it on my desk, but I obviously didn't grab it in time. Back. And here is Elizabeth's book, Stella's Diner. So everyone who wants to uh, grab a copy and support an author that's right here in our hometown of Mount Airy, here you go. Thank you very um, much. 
Yeah. Beth, thank you again for sharing this exciting news with our audience and carving out time um, today to share this journey. I'm excited to see what the future holds for you and Stella's Diner. Thank um, you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you again to our audience for tuning in today. Once again, I'm Donna Marie Needle, local realtor with Northrop Realty and sponsor of Talk of the Town, the Mount Airy Business and Leadership Interview Series. If you have a business in Mount Airy, or if you are a local leader and would like to be featured here, reach out to me and we will get you on our schedule. You can reach me directly at 301-466-3086 or Donna Marie Needle at northroprealty.com. And remember to support our business community by shopping local, buying local, and eating local. And remember, if I can assist you with any of our your real estate needs, I'd be honored to help you. See you next time. I'm the talk of the town. I know you're feeling it now.